fear and emotions arise because nobody has them. So that's on me, the same. me thinks it has them, but they are just what they are. So that's on the same level as a thought popping up or yeah. very passing by the other. It's just yeah. But it's only what is. But does it feel like a physical emotion about it? There isn't anyone that, that notices or recalls a feeling of fear. That's just fear. Oh, that's why. Yeah. So if, if there's oneness, if there's all oneness, um, I mean, everyone, well, like, there's a different perception that here or, um, well, yeah, the reason I can see those flowers, that it's the same. You can see these faces or everyone sit, everyone's sitting somewhere else. So it seems to me like um, you need the brain, well, the brain for one of so I don't know. A brain, a brain records what is apparently seen. Yeah. Um, and th there's no longer uh, another energy which is the brain creates called me, which is a separate energy, which then perceives the flowers as being an object. <coughs> so when the me is no longer there, what is seen is what is, which is nothing flowering. The flowers are and are not, or they're real and unreal. But there's nothing that knows that, that's just the way it is. <coughs> the way it is, is that this reality, or this apparent, the natural reality, is no thing appearing to be something happening. For the me, the reality is that the, the, what arises is separate from me and is happening to me. The brain is certainly a computer and it goes on functioning regardless of whether there's a me or not. And I mean, the brain is the computer, I mean, there are lots of brains, let's say, and uh, there seems to be some connection in the sense that you know, it seems like it's the same room and we're having similar. Oh, yeah, so in one way it's the same, in another way it isn't. All the time there's a me, what the, the appearance in the room seems to be separate from me. So me lives in the subject-object reality. It's an artificial subject-object reality. When there's no me, then there's nothing that's separate. But that can't be described or known. There's nothing that knows that. The brain is, is only really, in, in a sense, of course, there's a brain that functions and, and reads and, and so on, in terms of what, it, what is seen, the brain is obviously a function in that, but it's only a computer. It's only a, a nothing computing, what, how it appears as everything. I mean, don't forget that the seeing uh, or the living in a subject-object reality is an illusion. It's the only illusion there is. The only illusion there is, is in the me experiencing that everything is only real. The me lives in a real world only. It might give lip service to the idea that it's something unreal, but what it experiences is a solid object over there. It's ten feet away, and it's a solid object called her. <laughs> and she, you know, as far as the me is concerned, the, the sense of that is that it's solid. Of course it's not solid, it's particles taking that form. It's nothing taking that form. So when the me suddenly collapses, the natural reality is, is seen. And that is that that is real and unreal. But don't you start putting words on it, 
It sounds as though there's something there that knows that. I'm afraid there isn't. But in order to answer the question, I'm putting it into words that can be recognised. But in the end, what's seen there can't be known. There isn't anything that knows that. So there isn't something here that's aware that that's really an unreal. It's just that we don't know. So, I mean, the reason why I'm asking questions sometimes when I sit there, the feeling I you know, can describe it's like as if there's emptiness, there's no one really, it's like it's, there's oneness, but then, then the thoughts come, wait a minute, but we all different, then, then they're all kind of thoughts come. That's the dilemma. The great dilemma, in a way, the fundamental dilemma, first of all, is separation from me. But of course, part of that dilemma is the idea, this is very esoteric, I'm afraid, that the absolute becomes the relative. That the formless takes form, becomes form. Actually, they're both the same thing. How can, how can nothing be everything? Well, it is, I'm sorry. But that's unnerving. It's a, it's a, you could say it's a miracle. Well, that sounds a bit spiritual. What you're looking at is the infinite. And what's looking at is the infinite. That maybe I'm left to, may I suggest, thinks it isn't. <laughs> or feels it isn't. Not only thinks it isn't, but actually energetically feels it isn't the infinite. That it's looking at the infinite, and therefore it's separate. Yeah? 